For someone thinking about buying a new car or selling their existing car, you need to act fast because things are starting to normalize. In this video, I will explain to you why you should act fast if you want to buy or sell your car and which options will make you save more money. Hi there, welcome to your channel The Foreigner in America, where I teach locals and foreigners everything related to money and personal finances, including investing in the markets, cryptos, real estate, and businesses. So if you're someone like myself who wants to achieve greater wealth in life, you don't settle for pennies, but for Benjamins, and you love money, please subscribe to this great channel and hit that bell so you don't miss any one of my weekly videos. Also, check out my Instagram and TikTok at The Foreigner in America and my blog under the same name. And I have a book, which I will leave a link below for you to check out. So without further ado, let's begin. Car prices are starting to come down from their peak in December, and it seems like prices for both new and used cars have ended their upward ride for now. The average car in America, new car, sold for $45,900 in March, and it has declined around $200 more for April. And the average used car sold for $27,250 in March, and it's also declining steadily every month. So. Is this the time to buy a car? The real reason why cars surged in price is because of supply chain problems. The automakers haven't been able to keep up production with demand, so less vehicles available than what people are asking for means higher prices. Why haven't they ramped up production if customers are begging to pay tens of thousands of dollars on new cars? It's crazy. Well, one of the worst enemies of production is a chip shortage. This caused General Motors to shut off some factory lines in March. Entire lines of production idled because they didn't have the microchips. And companies like Toyota also trimmed production due to the fact that the invisible enemy is coming back in Asia. And adding to that, there's a shortage on some parts from the conflict of what's happening in Ukraine. So what analysts are saying is that prices are going to keep trending higher all year long. If you're trying to buy a new car, the more you wait, the harder it will be to find a car that you want at the price that you want to get it. But it's going downward. Why, Jaime? This is a false sense of stability, but the reality is that the microchips are still scarce. The conflict in Asia and Europe is still there and never ending, and supply chain hasn't recovered at all. There's no clear indication that any of these issues will resolve soon, so what makes you think that car prices will come down? And adding to this, inflation is not helping. So now, if you want to sell your car, it's a different story. You can get pretty lucky today. There's no better way to sell a car than privately. If you go through a dealership, you'll get robbed. Those guys would want to buy the car at 70% value so they can resell it and make a 30% profit. Trading in a car is a good idea only if you have the car you want to buy already secure. This is the situation. If you trade in your car, they will discount the value of your car from the new car's price. But if you sell the car privately, you will owe taxes to the IRS from the sell. Remember, the IRS taxes you on income or EBITDA, whether it's personal or business income. So you might, you might make two grand more if you sell it privately, but if you're going to pay more in taxes from the sale, then it's better for you to trade it in. But if you want to sell and not buy anything else, well, do not go for a cash offer from a company. They will want to lowball your car so they can make the profit. Put an ad on Craigslist, Facebook, anywhere on the internet with good photos and sell it yourself. Remember, people will start receiving their tax returns soon because of the delays in the IRS and they will want to spend their money as fast as possible. God forbid saving that money for a rainy day or investing it. No, 
they will rather put it as a down payment for a car. So don't wait to sell your car. Always set a price higher than market price for negotiations. No one buying a car will accept the first price they see. People think they're very clever because they can reduce the price more and more. So if you want to sell your car for 20000 offer it at 22000 and see how it moves. After a lot of negotiations back and forth and headaches, you can end up with a little over 20 k and make the buyer think that he's a genius. I bought my car in July last year and still got a solid price for it, but it has now gone up around six grand from where I bought it. It's pretty crazy what's happening today in the market. So allow me to give you my foreigner insight for this topic. New cars are never a good buy. Not when the market was normal, and especially now that you need to pay an average of 1000 to 3000 over MSRP to get it. So you still need to pay expensive gas and maintenance over it. It's true that new cars don't depreciate as bad today as they did two years ago, but they still do and a lot. The more expensive a car is up to a certain level, the worse the depreciation is. In three years, the car loses around 40% of its value. If you're financially solid with your investments in place and have enough money to spare in a brand new car, then go for it. There's nothing nicer than the smell of a new car and the peace of mind that nothing will happen to it in three years. The key is to pay it off in cash or in less than 12 months. That is when you know you can really afford a car like that. You want a BMW, a Porsche? Good for you. You write a check for a hundred grand and you buy it new. Nothing happens with your personal finances. It's when people bluff and get a car in 72 payments with no money down at a 6% interest that kills them. Then they cannot afford insurance, the gas or any kind of maintenance. Buying a three year old car that is coming off a lease, low mileage, uh, good maintenance records, great condition, and paying 40% less than MSRP is the best use of your money. Leasing a new car is only for companies that can use it as a tax deduction, never for an individual. If you own a business, you can buy a car over 6,000 pounds of weight and use it as a tax deduction, but always consult your accountant for details. But remember, Take control of your life and take control of your money. So thanks a lot for watching my video. If you enjoyed it and found useful information, give me a like and subscribe and hit that bell so you miss any one of my weekly videos as soon as they come out. So have a great day. Don't lose any money and I'll see you next time.